My name is Angela Diaz, and I would like to speak to you today about the need for adolescent and young adult center care and how they can be run effectively. I want to start by acknowledging that the healthcare system in the U.S. was created by adults for adults. And then we try to fit young people into that system, and when it doesn't work, we call them non-compliant and hard to reach. When indeed what is hard to reach is the system itself, the way those services are designed. Adolescents and young adulthood are really critical stages where the responsibility for healthy behaviors starts shifting from the caregivers to the young people themselves. It is a stage when people are becoming more independent, there is a lot of experimentation, and experimentation is not bad. You know, young people need to experiment and try new things in order to really gain the skills to be able to be independent. And what we need to do as adults is really create an environment where young people can experiment, try things, learn in an environment where they are not going to get into difficulties. So that's really, really important. And the behavior of young people affect their health status during adolescence and during a young adulthood, but also establish their health status over the life course. So if you are not healthy as an adolescent, if you get engaged in behavior that's not particularly healthy, that is really going to affect your health as an adult. It is really, really important for providers to really encourage young people to engage in healthy behaviors, to modify their behaviors, to become great healthcare consumers. And when you provide services in a way that is adolescent friendly and youth friendly in general, the young people are much more likely to change their behaviors. So we really can have a tremendous influence in that age group.